Meet Pearl Bransford. She likes to garden, hang out on her front porch, and enjoys the company of her outdoor cat, Sam. But most recently, Bransford is running for alderman, where she already serves in an at-large capacity. Franklin is my home. Um, we've been here for quite a while, so it's home for us. We raised our children here, and we have, over the course of the last eight years that I have served, we have grown a lot, we have acquired a lot of accolades, but we still have work to do. So I'm looking forward to continue to work on housing options. I um, want to continue to work on how do we optimize our Civil War history, our Civil War heritage, because those are tourism dollars. I want to look at how we can continue to grow our economics. Um, there's, those are jobs. I want to look how we can create uh, connectivity and trails that we can get people out of their cars and walking. I want to see our economics continue because that's where our tax money come from. That's how we sustain a great city with a good economic base. To create a good economic base, we need a workforce and a workforce need housing. Um, so there's a combination of economic growth, housing for the workforce, um, transit and traffic. Those are areas that I want to really focus on during these next four years. Mac Hatcher, that is an opportunity at a cost. And right now, local dollars will probably have to go into that up front to make that happen quicker. Um, we thought we were closer on the list to be considered by TDOT and that did not work out. Um, but once we can get that moving forward, that will create a lot of relief on our highways, uh, particularly on the west side, coming, having to come through Franklin to get to the freeway. So, um, local dollars, and we have to have that serious conversation about how we can make this happen. And I'm willing to listen to anyone with a great idea.